Yellowstone National Park today in a dramatic display of geothermal power. The world's tallest active geyser, Steamboat Geyser, erupted violently today, sending a towering column of scalding water and steam over 300 feet 91 meters into the sky. Park geologists confirmed no injuries occurred, though boardwalks near the Norris Geyser Basin were temporarily closed due to intense heat and steam fallout. The eruption released a massive surge of energy, shaking nearby seismometers and releasing a blast of boiling water from the underground hydrothermal system. Despite its violent display, Scientists maintain that steamboats' eruptions are not indicators of impending volcanic activity from the Yellowstone Supervolcano. Still, they are closely monitored as part of the region's intricate geothermal system. Visitors are advised to remain at safe distances and follow park safety guidelines when exploring geyser areas, especially as summer heat continues to interact with Yellowstone's volatile underground systems. Beneath Yellowstone lies a vast, pressurized hydrothermal system, where rainwater and snowmelt seep deep underground and are superheated by residual magma from the Yellowstone hotspot. In the case of Steamboat Geyser, this water is trapped in narrow, constricted chambers. Over time, pressure builds as the water reaches temperatures well above boiling over 400 degrees Fahrenheit or 204 degrees Celsius, thanks to the high pressures underground. The Klauia Volcano, one of the world's most active volcanic systems, has erupted once again, sending fountains of lava and columns of volcanic gas into the skies above Hawaii Volcanoes National Park. USGS scientists reported that lava is currently confined to the summit crater and is not posing a threat to nearby communities at this time. However, volcanic gas emissions especially sulfur dioxide so, are significantly elevated, prompting health and air quality advisories in surrounding areas, including Fala, Volcano Village, and parts of Hila. Klauia has a long history of eruptions, with major events in 2018, 2020, 2021, and 2023. The 2018 eruption was particularly destructive, displacing over 2,000 residents and creating new land along the island's eastern edge. Fortunately, this latest eruption appears to be smaller in scale so far. This is a classic summit eruption, said Dr. Kalani Paik, a volcanologist with the USGS Hawaiian Volcano Observatory. Lava is filling the crater and creating a spectacular show, but we're watching closely in case activity migrates to the rift zones, which could endanger nearby communities. Scientists continue to monitor ground deformation, gas output, and seismic activity for signs of escalation. Kloya's behavior can change rapidly, and officials urge residents and visitors to stay info.